Good morning, homesteaders. It's a cool and has been rainy day. The rain stopped, still uh, dripping off the trees here in Indiana, but it's a really nice feeling day outside. Um, it's time for another one of those weekly homestead shout outs. Amy's not here to sneak in and yell a shout out right now. Uh, this week we're going to give a shout out to a couple down in Mississippi, Carl and Dawn. Uh, this couple, they have got a really nice setup down there. They've got some fantastic videos covering everything you can think of. I mean, from building things, carving things, cooking things, making things, raising things. Great collection of videos over there. I'm going to put a link down below uh, to their uh, channel. And I really urge you all to go over and say hi to Carl and Don. Give them a check out, see what all they have to offer over there. And Hopefully, uh, find some stuff that really interests you over there. This week, uh, I think uh, right now in this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about tools. Um, learning the homestead, you need tools. Uh, people have asked, what's the most important tool you could get for homesteading? It's the tool you don't have when you need it. That's the most important one. You've got a project or something comes up, you've got to fix or take care of and you don't have the tool for it. So I'm going to lay out a few tools, show a few of them that I think are really important for homesteading. If you're just starting into homesteading or if you're still in the planning stage of it, these are things you could get in advance um, and you're going to need them. You're going to need all kinds of tools, but I think these will be some that are really essential that you're really going to need. Uh, you can pick them up at yard sales, pick them up at auctions, Pick them up from friends. There's cheap ways to get tools. Yeah, there's sometimes you can't find a used one. You're going to have to buy a new one. But if you can save money, save money. I know most of you are probably like us. You're broke as can be. Don't have no fancy tractors or fancy place or anything around. You're doing this to try and be a little more self-sufficient, trying to get by on your own, trying to save as much money as possible. So look for the cheap ways to buy uh, tools. Make sure it's a good tool, and always remember when you're using any type of tool, safety. We don't want anybody out there injured. If you don't know how to use that particular tool, if you're new to using tools, but you've got this strong desire to homestead, ask somebody. Check around. Find out from somebody the safe way and the proper way to use the tool. Uh, I'm going to get up here now, and I'm going to go over, and we're going to check out some tools, and hopefully I'll be able to help somebody with something that... Uh, they'll be able to use on their homestead. See you in a second. Okay, I've drug a few things out here. I'm not about to drag everything out here. Be here all day dragging it out and putting it back in. These are a few essential things I think you'll really need to look at to have before you start homesteading. Plan on these things going to be used. Plan on trying to buy them. Like I said, look at yard sales, look at auctions, flea markets, friends who are selling stuff. Uh, this down here, that's a T-post driver for driving metal post. If you're going to put any kind of fencing up with metal post, you have to have one. I mean, there's no way to do it without that. Uh, there, we have a sledgehammer. You're going to find uses for that. Behind that over there is the post hole diggers. Gonna need those for fence posts or any other post that you're setting. Uh... Axes, making sure they stay sharp too. Keep that stuff ready to use at a moment's notice. Uh, toe strap, there's about a 30, 40 foot toe strap, maybe it's 50 foot that I keep in the truck. Uh, next to it over there, some toe cha uh, logging chains. Uh, a maul for splitting wood. You're, you're gonna need that if you use any type of firewood or even for your campfire. A wheelbarrow, you gotta have at least a wheelbarrow if not two or three of them. Uh, you're going to use the heck out of those things. Jumper cables. You're isolated out here. You want jumper cables. Uh, your vehicle dies, there's nobody coming right away to come and help you out. Uh, electric skill saw. Um, Got to have one of those. Uh, they're very dangerous. Any electrical saw tool like that, they will cut parts of you off in a heartbeat. Make sure you know how to use one. If you don't know how to use one safely, ask somebody. There's no crime and no shame in asking somebody on how to use certain tools. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of these skills were never passed on to people anymore nowadays. A good tool belt. You'll need a good quality tool belt. 
Uh, that's got framing hammer in it, box cutters, uh, fine point chisels, pencils, squares, chalk line, tape measure, all that stuff. You'll need all those tools to do things. A handsaw. Uh, Got to have a handsaw, at least one, and there's different types of handsaws. You'll just have to check around and see which ones you think you're going to need. Saw horses. Get yourself some saw horses, and if you can't find any to get, make some. You can make them out of 2 by 4s is really easy. Uh, let's see what else we got up here. There's a battery drill and an electric drill. We've got probably two or three of each of those things sitting around up there. Uh, batteries, backup batteries are always on a charger. Levels. Uh, there's a four foot and a two foot level. You'll find a million uses for those. That's a flat bar there. Yeah, if you're taking things apart and trying to reuse stuff or repair stuff, you'll need that flat bar. That's a trim hammer, different from a framing hammer. And again, I'm not putting anybody down because I know there's people that know, know the difference in them. Um, hacksaws. I've got two or three of those sitting in there. Let's see if I can get this here. This handy little tool here is great. It is for setting a post in the ground, in the hole in the ground after you've used your post hole digger. You can line this right up on the post for help leveling it in your concrete and stuff. And all you gotta do is put it on the corner of that wooden post and it'll tell you exactly when you've got that thing straight. You can pick them up at hardware stores really cheap. Great, great tool to have. Uh, pry bar. Gotta have a pry bar, that's a long one. I've got probably short ones, medium ones. You'll have use for all of that. Chainsaw. You're going to need a chainsaw. Uh, ask the people from Irma. Ask anybody that lives with woods around them and it snows and stuff. Uh, that's a Yonsered. It's made by Husqvarna. They sell them up in Canada. People in Canada love them. Uh, made by the same company, almost identical in everything. Just a different name, different company, different country. And they're cheaper than the Husqvarna. I also recommend you keep one, two, three other chains on hand at all times sharpened. Because one will dull down real quick and you're out in the middle of cutting something. It's much easier just to put another chain on than sharpening the whole thing. Or a link will break on it. So make sure you've got yourself an extra chain around. Uh, let's see up here. That's a hundred foot tape right there. You'll end up needing that. Big scoop shovel. If you're cleaning out anything, you're going to have use for that scoop shovel. And this is just a small bit of the hand tools, non-power tools we have. Be used for powers out or if you're an off-gridder. Uh, planes, there's all kinds of different planes for different purposes. We've got probably six to eight of them. Adds, uh, it's that curve uh, tool right there. It's for woodworking, for getting out, cleaning out bowls and stuff like that. We've got two or three of those. A hand drill. Draw knife for cleaning off bark, another plane, a hatchet, a small hatchet, uh, very, keep it very, very sharp, keep all of them sharp and ready to use. We've got a, a ton of the hand tools, we pick them up for years at auctions and flea markets. Whenever we find them at a really good price, we pick them up, but you never know when you're going to be without power. Hand tools, leaf rakes. Shovels, different size shovels, different types of shovels for different jobs. Rakes, hose. You're going to need every single one of those at some point. So you come across them, pick them up. One I don't have sitting here yet because it's summertime, but I'm going to have to dig out snow shovel. Well, this is just a small sampling of the tools I think you're really going to need if you're planning on homesteading. Um, be a good weekend to start on if you don't have the tools. Go out, start hitting the yard sales, flea markets, auctions, look around for this type of stuff. You are going to need every bit of these plus more. Uh, pick up hand tools, wrenches, sockets, drill bits, uh, miter saws. I've picked up two miter saws at auctions and yard sales, one for 25 bucks, one for 40 I think it was. Uh, table saws, band saws, routers. Depending on how self-sufficient, how much you want to do yourself and how much you want to save in money, uh, depends on what type of tools and how much you're going to get. So uh, this is Jay at our Harvest Moon Homestead and I'm reminding you now to give a big shout out. Go on over to Carl and Don's Homestead. 
check out their page. Got some fantastic videos over there. Tell them hi. Um, go see them. Stop by our web page, if you would, at OurHarvestMoonHomestead.com. We have a store there if there's anything. If you have any comments, questions, if you need to know something about certain tools, what you might need or not need, send us an email. It's down there in the links below also. Drop us a line. Give us a comment. If there's videos you'd like to see, let us know about that stuff too. Uh, I strongly urge you to go see the different YouTube channels, the ones we've given shout-outs to especially. Uh, they've got some great stuff out there, and it helps the YouTubers. Uh, share their videos. If you see something of ours you particularly like, please share it. It helps us with YouTube. Um, I can't tell you how much it helps by sharing people's YouTubes or talking about their channels and directing traffic their way. So this is Jay. i got to put all this stuff back in someplace right now before it rains again. And hope you all have a good day today.